Interesting backlash is growing against the pharmaceutical company that dramatically raised prices on life-saving EpiPens while at the same time hiking its executive salaries. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are saying the company has gone too far. And we're now learning its CEO is the daughter of a U.S. senator. NBC's Tom Costello is in Washington with more. Tom, good morning. Matt, in just the last few minutes, under pressure, the CEO is suggesting she will cut the price for certain customers. She is Heather Bresch, and as we've reported, her total compensation skyrocketed while the price pharmacies have to pay for the EpiPen has gone from $90 to $600 in 10 years. From school clinics to Capitol Hill, a growing chorus of anger directed at Mylan Pharmaceuticals and its CEO for raising the price of its life-saving EpiPen by a staggering 575% over the past 10 years. Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders both tweeting outrage. From Democrat Claire McCaskill and Republican Susan Collins wrote to Mylan requesting briefing info on raising prices. And from activist Aaron Brockovich, some things are so absolutely disgusting, hard to believe. This price gouging, there's no other term for it, is morally bankrupt. The EpiPen used by millions of Americans, but mostly children, at risk for suffering a potentially fatal allergic reaction, often to nuts or peanut butter. But in 10 years, the price has gone from $90 to $600. This week, Mylan Pharmaceuticals told NBC News the price change better reflects important product features and the value the product provides. But many people, like Sherry Ackley, say they can't afford it. It's um, a crapshoot. Do you spend the money and hope you don't need it, or do you go without it and pray to God that you don't need it? And that's when you have to sit down with them and say, this is life-saving. You need to figure out a way to buy this because if something happens to your child, it might not, it probably won't happen, but if it does, they need this medicine right away. The CEO of Mylan is Heather Bresch. Last year, her total compensation hit nearly $19 million. Bresch is the daughter of West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin. Pharmaceutical companies that often try to portray themselves as the inventors of life-saving medication often do real damage to their reputation by being greedy and jacking up prices. Under pressure in just the last few minutes, the company announcing it is reducing the patient cost of EpiPen injectors through the use of a savings card, which it claims will save up to $300. Mylan says it's also doubling the eligibility for its patient assistance program for the uninsured and underinsured. But whether that's enough for Congress is yet to be determined. Guys, back to you. All right, Tom Costello. Tom, thank you very much. Right. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.